Honestly, if there's anything that's going to But if he wasn't, he'd love this. Yeah, that'll definitely work. Whenever Jonah was... All right. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. I can't believe Mr. Atlas is going to be here at BV. 
Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. Talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. She left to get something for her car and then never came back. I just heard two words missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. Gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I could find out more. Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps, wherever she is. The students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man! I gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Send you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. Hey, yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is, uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki, but now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi, Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, Tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production, but it's been hard to find time lately. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good yeah. stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And. Can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable, trustworthy. Someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. And I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh... Do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... uh that... could have gone better. Yeah. 
All right. With those guys out of the way, let's see where that tracker signal leads. There she is. This glass looks pretty breakable. What makes you think I know anything about the heart? I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. You hide. I've got these guys. To my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. Uh, consider this confirmation. Just try to tell a brother first. Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the Quan. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. I can't do this alone. Why couldn't I just take him out to dinner or something?
had enough yet? I guess this doesn't work on you. Sand Marcos are exhausting. They say their boss is coming soon and that he wants to meet me. I'm not waiting around. Sorry to break our promise, Kimi, but I'll tear this city apart to find you. Marco thought Craven's people hurt his kid. And no wonder he went nuclear. out when something's wrong. People well, here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. The writer in me does love the irony. Marco never got the chance to find her. I gotta make sure she's safe. Maybe there's another crystal over by where Marco's memory shattered in the first place. 